So let's talk a little bit about the extended twin cutter. This is an optional accessory for the lathe. Uh, it's necessary when doing large trucks, dualies, uh, box trucks and things like that. And you'll notice it's a very heavy piece. It's very durable, sturdy sort of thing. Uh, and also it's got a larger offset from here to here so we can reach out further. The hubs on trucks push the lathe farther away, so we need something that can get in further. You'll also notice it's got a deeper uh, throat here so that it can cut deeper. So what I'm going to need to do first is I'll need to remove the standard cutting head. So I grab my T-handle wrench here, I'm going to loosen up the bolt that holds the cutting head in place. And I just bump the cutting head and we just slide it right out. Okay? Well, that's the, that's the passenger car cutting head. Now we grab the extended twin cutter and we're going to slide it back into place. Now there is a keyway here that we'll need to line up on the keyway and the lathe. Just kind of wiggle it a little bit and bring it in place. Now I want to go ahead and tighten up my bolt. Now we've got it in place and we're ready to go. Now that we've installed the extended twin cutter, we need to install this retaining plate. It goes on the back of the twin cutter through the casting of the lathe. And what we're going to do is put these Allen head bolts through it. And what that's going to do is prevent the extended twin cutter from falling off when we're adjusting it. So now that the extended twin cutter is installed, we use it very similarly to how we use the standard cutting head. The difference is, is that my adjustment knob is here as opposed to being uh, on the other side of the lathe. So all I do is just as before, I loosen one of these knobs, turn the screw to advance, right to tighten it, left to loosen it, lock it in place, loosen up the other one, turn it as well, and lock it in place when I'm ready to make my cut. Other than that, the lathe operates the same as it does with the standard cutting head. You'll notice that the bit holders are retained with two screws, so we just need to loosen both of those screws if we're going to change to flip this over if we're going to change the direction of the lathe. Other than that, it operates exactly the same as the standard cutting heads.